Some people called it the greatest love story of the 20th century. The king who gave up his throne for the woman he loved. How do you find living in England, Mrs. Simpson? I'm always cold. Maybe you need someone to keep you warm. Isn't that what husbands are for? Are you trying to seduce me? Is it working? <laughs> I'm sure the rumors aren't true, Your Majesty. Which rumors? That he's rather serious about her. What do you mean, serious? She's a married woman. I have never known one person so utterly possessed by another as he was by her. I read that you kept a collection of letters. Would it be possible for me to look at them? I don't generally show them to anyone. I think it's important to tell the story from her point of view. <gasps> Happy birthday, we. Too sweet. Wallace and Edward, silly. So what is your thing with the Duke and the Duchess? Little girls love fairy tales. How do you know they lived happily ever after? His Royal Highness is calling from Paris. You know you'll give in if you speak to him. He's my brother. The last thing you need is your brother dashing around England with that trollop. Tell him I'm busy. Your family will never stand for it. The Prime Minister won't stand for it. Then I'll give up the throne. And I will be the most despised woman in the world. He seems to have made his bed, hasn't he? I have found it impossible to discharge my duties as king without the help and support of the woman I love. The whole world turned against her, but she never backed down. You have no idea how hard it is to live out the greatest romance of the century.